Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you doing? Um, it feels like long time no talk because I didn't end up doing videos this weekend. Um, like I thought I would do. And I had like an extra day off today and uh, I stopped by my post office and got some happy mail. My first happy mail at my P.O. box. And um had my doctor's appointment today. We can talk about that in the podcast or whatever in a different catch up video. But um, that's why I had the day off was to go there. And um, I also wanted to say happy Earth Day to everybody. Um, normally I plant a tree um, or a bush or some kind of plant, but um, it's been really cold and snowy. Um, it's been cold here. Our particular little corner of Michigan didn't get snow. I don't know if it's because we're right on the lake or not, but um, everywhere around us, like the um, David's best friend, uh, she lives uh, a little ways away, not ter not terribly far, like 20 minutes drive or so, and they got snow twice. <laughs> so um, I didn't plant anything because I didn't, it's cold out and I didn't, uh, but I did get a house plant. Um, we got some calla lilies the other day, and um, I've managed to not kill them yet. So, fingers crossed on that. But yeah, I just wanted to wish everybody happy Earth Day, and hopefully, uh, you're in a climate where you can celebrate and do some planting or um, picking up trash and like just helping Mother Earth out. Like that's the whole reason for the day, and I really love it. So yeah, just love it. <laughs> So, um, but the reason for the video is, let me not show off any addresses here, but I got Happy Mail and I'm going to start with this one and I'm pretty sure I know that this is from, um, Angela, pretty sure. <laughs> um, she had emailed me and said that she sent something from Etsy. So like, I don't, maybe Etsy didn't come this fast or whatever, but the addressee is definitely not her, it's a guy's name. So if, if Jonathan sent me something and I didn't know it, this is from him, but otherwise I'm assuming it's the Etsy uh, thing. So we're going to open stuff together today instead of me pre-opening too. So there'll probably be a little bit of a rumble. I'm generally pretty safe with my scissor opening, so nobody worry about that, but... taped up pretty good, I'll say that. Very excited, like, I definitely got, I got the P.O. box so that I could get things delivered there so that people didn't, like, steal things off my lawn and stuff, like, previous, but, um, yeah, people, uh, said they would like to send stuff, too, so I figured it would be a good idea just to have this address available, so, which, it is never like necessary or asked or expected or anything that you send me anything but it's very appreciated that um you take the time to think about me cards or anything is appreciated like who doesn't love getting stuff that isn't bills or junk mail you know so let's see let us see what is in the box it's wrapped up very nicely, whatever it is. We got some bubbly wrap in here. Love bubble wrap. Does anybody else use that for like a um, homemade stress relief? Let's see. There's like tape and bubble wrap and saran wrap. And then I think inside is tissue paper. So this is wrapped up hecka good. Let's see how... Got it in my hair. Alright, right. bubble wrap gone. Sorry. I don't know if the mic's good enough to pick that up, but I had to pop some. Yes. Sorry for the rattling. At least you know I didn't preemptively open this, right? Before I was making sure, yeah, there was no card. Just wanted to be sure. Yeah. 
Okay, um... For those of you that don't know, um, if you haven't been with me, uh, for the last year, uh, if you're new or just didn't catch that, um, couple of videos where I talked about it a lot, um, I, for 15 years, had an Airedale Terrier. His name is Winston. I just lost him. Uh, the anniversary is actually coming up, uh, May 4th is the anniversary that I lost him of last year and uh, I'm still <laughs> really really emotional about it um, because he he and I were together through so much we were together obviously when I got him I went to Ohio to get him and bring him back home um, he was with me through my divorce I won custody in the child divorce case with him because he was our child um, and his dad turned into a deadbeat dad anyway, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, <laughs> but um, he was there when I moved into not the best situation afterwards. And he's been here with me and David. And uh, he's my furry soulmate. And he has been my everything. And uh, um, I had gotten an ornament. Actually, I knew that name sounded familiar of the sender. Uh, I had gotten an ornament of... Uh, an Airedale Terrier at Christmas time with wrapped up in lights like he'd gotten into mischief, which Winston does. And um, this is another ornament, and it's an Airedale. And he has angel wings and a halo, just like my baby. <laughs> and I love it. I love it so much. Angela, if this, this I assume is from you. I assume this is from you. And, um, he didn't write your name on it anywhere, but, um, I know you said I, you sent something. And I have loved this so much. Um, at my work area, uh, I have his urn and I have my other ornament and, um, two of his favorite toys and his collar. Like, it's like a little Winston shrine. <laughs> And, um, this is going right there next to it because that's so amazing. Thank you so much. I love this. Like, I'm sure you do know. I was gonna say you don't even know, but, um, this is definitely well loved and appreciated. I'm gonna show you guys one more time. <laughs> that's my baby. <laughs> So thank you, thank you so much. I really do love him and appreciate him so much. I'll set him over here where he won't get knocked into. So cute. Thank you. <laughs> um, the other happy mail that I have is from Gretchen. And um, it's funny because like before I had the P.O. box um, at Christmas time, Gretchen had emailed me and asked me if I had an address and uh, I just had the home address. So, um, she sent me like a virtual card, which was really pretty and I loved it. And, um, then she sent me an email and said, now that you have the PO box, um, I wanted to send you, um, basically like a, a Christmas package. <laughs> so, um, thank you in advance before I even open it. Thank you, Gretchen. Thank you for thinking of me like from Christmas. That's so awesome. That's so nice. And it's funny, when I went to pick this up today, um, this one didn't fit in my P.O. box because I have a fairly small P.O. box. Like, the other box from uh, Etsy was basically shoved in there, and then there was a note saying to come get this one at the front desk. I think I need to bring a knife in if I open any more stuff in here. Um, but the lady went to go get it, and she's like, <laughs> she's like, Heather the Crochet Witch, is that you? And I said, yes. And she's like, so what do you crochet? Like everything? And I was like, oh yeah, I crochet everything. So she thought she got a good laugh out of it. And she thought that was cool. It was the same lady when I set my P.O. box up that uh, I was asking about having packages sent there and everything. And uh, I told her I had it, my stuff might not be coming with my last name on it because I had a YouTube channel and like if people sent cards it wouldn't have my last name on it necessarily and she's like that's okay so she put two and two together I think and figured out that was what I was talking about 
So let's get, oh, oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna open the card first because we should always open the card first, right? Heather the Crochet Witch. And it was, it's looking like it was a Christmas card because it's got really pretty, I don't know. I have uh, like the reflection is kind of crazy between my light and the white envelope, but hopefully you guys can see the detailing on that. It looks like you can. It's like a snowy woods. That's beautiful. <gasps> and I see glitter immediately, which is one of my favorite things. I will never be mad if anybody sent, you know how people complain that they get like a lap full of glitter after some cards, which maybe this would be one of those. And I will never complain about that. Can you see that sparkly? I don't think sparkles ever show up on camera as much as they do in real life. But that's beautiful. And it's so like, um, what's the, like serene. Like it's just, you can almost picture being there in that just quiet, beautiful, undisturbed, snowy, like wonderland <laughs> out in the woods. The woods, I don't know if, if you guys have ever just walked out in the woods and just like sat and listened, but I mean, listened to basically nothing. It's just so peaceful. The snow falling and stuff in the winter like that in the snow in the woods is so so peaceful. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, I am going to read this out loud because hopefully that part's okay too that I do that. Um, but she says, uh, Dear Heather, I've been following your channel for a while and I've always felt that if we lived in the same town, we would have been friends. Does that sound weird? That does not sound weird. I feel that way about people and I do believe that's true because um, we're like-minded crochet-y people and I don't know, it would just be cool. It would be cool if a bunch of us did live in the same town or area so we can just get together and do like shopping trips or like find a quiet place to just sit and crochet that would that sounds amazing um anyway i have enjoyed your journey and i've been inspired to make a facebook page that's why i read this specifically where i share my makes and have now branched out into work uh, making videos i know you're probably busy but i would like you to join my group i would be honored Please feel free to share my package with the channel. I hope this brightens your day as much as your videos brighten mine. That is so sweet, and I'm so happy. Like, if I could have that effect on anybody, that makes me so happy. So I'm really glad to hear that. Um, sincerely, Gretchen. My Facebook is Bella N N C A N S E H M O. Um, my page is Bella's Crocheted Gifts. Please call me Be Bella in the videos. I will now call you Bella. I'm so sorry. Um, I should have read that first uh, before I opened it. Um, thank you, Bella. And um, for everybody, like, um, I will try to link that. I'm not very good at linking Facebook stuff, I guess. I've tried it before and I didn't do a good job. But her Facebook page is B-E-L-L-A. A N S E H M O, and um, if you if you wanna comment and leave that um, spelling for people to feel free, and I'll pin it. Um, and uh, Facebook page is that, and um, her page is Bella's Crocheted Gifts. So if you guys wanna stop by and tell her Heather sent you, she sends beautiful cards. <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Bella. Um, so that is, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Before I even unopen it. So like, this is the package that we're talking about when she says I can share the package. Um, and I'm actually going to show this first. This, I'm assuming that you made these and these are, look beautiful in the package. Sorry for the crinkling. I just realized like that bag was like right next to the mic too. These are like the most beautiful, intricate little snowflakes. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. How pretty are those? Look at that. That is gorgeous. 
and there's different sizes and shapes much like snowflakes there's no two snowflakes alike right oh my gosh that is so pretty and it's funny because people will be like oh that's small that probably didn't take long that's not true this could have taken quite some time because that's a lot of little work that's so nice Thank you so much for those. I'm totally, I was going to say I'm going to put it on my tree and I might do that, but I also might hang it as a little garland at, in winter. I might put that up back here. Those are so nice. Thank you so much. I love those. I've made a few snowflakes for people before and I know some work definitely does go into these. These are so nice. Yours are better than mine. I'm just saying. <laughs> and then um, we have... This is what I was like, <gasps> about. Um, this is a uh, wool-like, is that a different, wool-like simile lane? I don't know if the simile lane part is a different language or if it's part of the title, but. Um, I'm probably blowing it out. There we go. Um, but Michaels had put this color, at least in my area, this color on clearance and I had snagged up two of them and then they do still offer this line but only some colors uh, I snagged up a gold one gold one orange and one avocado green and then I think I had snagged up two of these and I had intended to make like this really awesome huge shawl and um for several of them because that's a lot of yardage but I remember thinking I wished I had another one of these because I might, speaking of Winston, uh, I have this furry yarn from Hobby Lobby that is real thin, but it's real fuzzy. And I want to make um, a Winston shawl, like just like a memory shawl of him. And I had said I wanted to hold it with a thinner yarn. And I think I want to hold it with this, but I still wanted some for the other colors that I had to make a shawl with too. So thank you so much for that because my area clearanced all this out and um, I'm happy, happy, happy to have this. Thank you so much. I'm pretty sure this is going to get held with the other one, with the other yarn to make my Winston shawl when I make it. Thank you so much. That makes me so, so happy. And see, I did say I didn't mind getting glitter everywhere. I've already got, I don't know if you can see it, but I've already got like my table is covered in glitter from that card and I love it. I love it so much. And then I, I love this stuff. Um, if you've seen the, when I was so proud that I made my first wearable and currently my only like sweater or anything that I've made, I made like a really long like house coat sweater. I made it out of this kind of yarn. This is um, Bernat Toasty. Um, it was the Stitch and Win label. If you guys remember when they put out like some Bernat stuff and everything with the Stitch and Win on it. Um, this one is in the color Spiced Chocolate. And I think that this is the one that I have uh, several others of that I had said I wished I had more of too. So, Bella, you have read my mind. We are uh, like-minded people. We definitely would be friends and hang out if we were in the same town. We definitely would be. And then this was also in there, and it's the second one. And it is um, color, color, color. This is the color taupe, like T-A-U-P-E, taupe. I don't have any of these, so this would be a really cute accent color with whatever I end up making out of these. Those are pretty. Or by itself, this would make a nice warm cowl or something. Like, I, I'm a big fan of this. It doesn't, um, like, it has, like, a spin on it, kind of like homespun. And at first, that was going to be my first impression. I don't, I don't mind homespun. I'm not a homespun hater. Um, it's not like my go-to yarn, um, but that's also like if they had more colors that I was gravitating towards, I would probably use more of it. So I'm, I don't hate it at all. Um, I just don't love it. And I thought this would be like homespun and it really isn't like it has the one string through it, but it doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't twist up like it. I suppose if you're not careful and using a big enough hook, your stitches do get a little lost in it. So it still depends on what you want to make with it. Um, whether you'll be successful and like it and find it hard to work with or not. But um, I did not find it hard to work with with my uh, 
sweater and I use mostly just double crochets with that and a fairly big hook so thank you so much I loved this this definitely put a smile on my face both of you lovely lovely ladies and I'm very appreciative of it um, thank you and it was a little Christmas package because I got the little snowflakes and the little snow so um, yeah definitely um, I'm gonna head over myself but um, you guys make sure that you head over to Bella's page um, and her uh, video check out her videos and subscribe to her face or like her Facebook page I really need to get working on mine too that kind of reminds me I need to get one up but um yeah and I'll, I'll write that down below too like the name that she wrote in here so you guys can check it out easier but um thank you so much uh yeah so that was my happy mail today and um I don't think I have any like squishy yarn mail coming that I can think of. Maybe we'll both be surprised. <laughs> oh, I do. I do. I got, um, a Lion Brand order, which if I'm still forget, I meant like two days ago, I meant to, um, email you back Rebecca and let you know that we could both keep our yarn and be happy with it because I got that flash sale for Mandela roving. Uh, because I didn't want to like, I didn't want to take yours because if they get rid of it, everybody, you know, I don't like buy it, but I'm saying I didn't want to take it off your hands if you might use it. So I just, um, picked that up at the flash sale and, uh, but I will email you. I will. I'm just, I'm bad sometimes at emailing back. Like I'll think of a response and like nine times out of 10, I'm at work when I'm like, oh, I'll email them back on my break or after work. And that's when I forget. <laughs> so I'm really sorry if I don't email back fast enough, that might be why. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. I just wanted to share my awesome friend's happy mail and let you guys that did send that know that I appreciate it so much. Um, I really do like this box is all my colors and this Winston made me so happy <laughs> and I love it. And, um, yeah, so I will just talk to you guys later. Like I said, I hope you're having a good Earth Day where you're at, and I hope that uh, if you're inclined to, that you've um, done something helpful for the planet, even if it's picking up a gum wrapper off the street. Like, anything helps, right? Mother Earth needs us just as much as we need her. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to go, and I love you guys so much. Thank you for hanging out with me and chatting with me. Thank you for thinking of me that like seriously warms my heart more than you know. <laughs> and um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys. I love you.